So let's now look at the next Catholic move. Uh, overall, I think uh, they need to uh, push ahead here uh, with, uh, with all of this cavalry here, uh, pressing their advantage uh, by attempting to charge home here. Uh, the infantry in the in the centre, both sets of infantry, I think they just need to continue, uh, as do the uh, cavalry on the extreme uh, flank here. Uh, these crosses here could could uh, move into contact with this unit here, but to do so would uh, I mean leaving their supports behind so I think overall it's probably better to await events so uh, we'll attempt to uh, move into contact with these units here uh, they'll all need to roll uh, four five or six to do that because they're attempting to contact um, the uh, Dutch star cavalry here let's do that then and I'll come back to you okay so uh, this unit uh, moved into contact without any problems uh, on this side, uh, this, this unit attempted to move here, uh, failed by then uh, used the opportunity to have a second roll and succeeded with this. Uh, I've left this in position like this to show you what would ha then happen. Because this charged uh, moved into contact first, uh, this unit would then be pulled across here like so, and this unit can just move up uh, into that position to support. Uh, so that's how we are at the moment. Let's now turn to combat. Okay, so once again, I think the artillery will uh, fire here to help in that attack. There are a number of uh, morale tests we must take on this side. Let's start here uh, with the light horse harassing uh, the Protestant cavalry. Uh, the only factors that are applied there are the, uh, the Protestant cavalry get plus one for being under her attack by a uh, relatively inefficient uh, light horse. So they get all the dice with the plus one, uh, eight, nine is a, a succeed. In the centre, the, uh, the infantry are now exchanging uh, shots. Um, if you recall, uh, the uh, Swedish uh, brigades uh, have uh, changed the, their ratio uh, to uh, put all their musketeers in front. Uh, that, in com combination with their uh, regimental guns, means they are out shooting their opponents. So they get plus one for that. Uh, they also get plus one for uh, the unit of rear support, which is plus two. Uh, this unit here receives a uh, further plus because it's elite. So that unit gets a plus, uh, plus three. <coughs> so seven plus three is ten, which is a pass. Uh, this unit gets plus two. So ten plus two is also a pass can now move to the other side. Continuing with the morale text, uh, this unit here uh, will uh, receive a plus one for having rear support from this unit, but it will receive a minus one for the artillery fire, shown by the uh, part of smoke, and a further minus one for being in uh, contact with a unit with more pipes than it. So it's an overall score of minus one, it rolls a dice, and it scored two. Um, uh, the unit cannot uh, re-roll uh, because the uh, their commander is is here, uh, far too far away to intervene. So the unit is removed from play as it is outed. Uh, the uh, Catholic infantry unit does not need to roll for pursuit because infantry do not normally pursue. Uh, the next unit along <coughs> that uh, receives a plus one for being defending on the hill. Uh, it has not got any rear support, but it uh, receives a minus one for being in contact uh, with uh, the uh, more, uh, unit with more pikes. So that's a straight plus roll, and rolls four, so that's uh, still alive, but receives yet another uh, morale failure. So it's a red dice, and is now uh, just a single uh, hit away from being removed itself. Next it is the turn of the cavalry to take our tests. Uh, this unit here must test. It receives a plus one uh, for the uh, rear support from this unit and it is on the hill so that's another plus one but it receives a minus one for being contacted by the crosses. So overall a plus one dice modifier. Uh, roll four plus one is five uh, which is a morale failure. 
Unfortunately, as you can see, the unit already has uh, has only got one mm failure left. So if uh, that stands, uh, they will be uh, removed from play. So therefore, I'm going to uh, to attach the uh, their commander to the unit and give them another uh, try to pass their mail test. So they remain on plus one, uh, but have a second attempt. Oh, scored four again. Uh, which means that they are losing a mal failure and are removed from playing. Uh, finally, we have uh, this unit here. Uh, this unit uh, does not have any support. Um, it's not on the hill, but it's green, uh, so that's a minus one. Um, it's, what this, uh, it's a raw unit, so that's what this marker here means and it's been contacted by uh, the Crassiers, which is a further minus one, and in addition, uh, this unit is providing support, so that's a total of minus three. So, uh, therefore, the unit involves this and scores six minus three uh, is uh, score three. Uh, the commander cannot intervene because it's already intervened here already, so a final score of three means that unit is also removed from play. So the final thing we need to do is we need to roll for pursuit. This unit here uh, receives a plus one because it is trained, but a minus one because it is close to its commander. So that means it's a straight dice roll, four, five or six it will pursue. So it rolls two and does not pursue. This unit uh, uh, is elite. So that's a plus one, and it is also near to the commander, so another uh, uh, plus one for that. So that's uh, five or six, and it will pursue. So two, it does not. So uh, that ends the imperialist uh, turn, uh, a good turn for them, I think.